Hey there guys, it's Rick Utzer again here with Airgun Web, and it's Airgun Week. And this is one of those guns that you're going to say, Rick, you say you like traditional guns. And I'm going to say, haven't you ever seen a hypocrite before? I like, this is one of the guns that it's not my style, but if there's a gun that's not my style that I'm going to fall in love with, it has been this one. This thing is awesome. So first of all, I want to say a super duper thank you to... Justin over at Utah Air Guns that supported Air Gun Expo, who provided this whole package. Uh, this, this is my bipod, but everything else here, the scope and the rifle, all these cool, I'll show you what these guys are here in a minute. All of this stuff he sent over for the expo. And after the expo, he said, you guys, you know, use it and enjoy it. And so Justin, thank you so much because I haven't really done much with it since the expo, but it's not for a lack of desire, it's been lack of time. And I'm looking forward to 2022 because this is one of the guns that is gonna get Rick into the slug world. I'm nearly certain that we're gonna be able to push some slugs with this thing. That's what I'm very hopeful about because this thing's a beast, okay? So first of all, this is the Air Max Catron, and forgive me if I've mispronounced it, it's Catron or Catron, I apologize, I don't know which way it, that rolls on that. This is a very minimalistic in the sense of there's not a lot to it. There's just the action, the bottle, the barrel, and the skeleton stock. That's it. If you like minimalist guns, you're going to love this thing. Stock folds in like that. It's very, very cool. Now, this, I believe, uh, if you look at the different models, this has obviously got the bottle, and it's got the longer barrel. So I think this is sort of the high-power version. We're shooting this in 25 cal today. Um, what this is, this is one of the things Travis showed me this week I thought was really cool. Um, oh, there you go, caught it. They have a modular moderator design. So uh, if you want it, if you don't care about noise and you just want to keep it as short as possible, we well, don't have to use all the moderator. If you want it quieter, well then you can just put in all the modules and now you've got a very quiet air gun. Uh, it makes it a little bit longer but you can put as many baffles, little module sections on as you want, which I thought that was really cool. The action on this is extremely nice. So it's a very short throw, extremely well made. Um, the, one of the things that really endeared me to this gun was just how well it's put together. Obviously it's got a lot of power and it's got great accuracy. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of that today. The other thing I've got, I've got three different things. Two, I know, uh, one, I know shoots really well. I'm pretty sure we'll get some decent results with the standard 25, um, 25 four Kings. I don't know if we're gonna, if the Grizzlies will shoot. Now, I have a gun that shot these really well, shocked me. So it sort of said, maybe I need to put those back in the mix. I've got a bunch of them. Might as well at least see if they fly. Um, they, I don't know, never test them. You guys could be the, you could be the first ones to see it right along with me. So we'll find out together. Um, I believe you can fill this up to 300 bar. Other cool things about it is that all of this is adjustable. So you can raise and lower this, you can extend this. This is a very, very nice, uh, customizable, lightweight, super lightweight if you don't have this Jongo tripod or bipod here. Um, this is just a great gun. So if you're out hunting or you're bench shooting, um, this thing is really, really nice. I will tell you this, that if you're gonna bench shoot, uh, bench rest shoot with this, because it's so light, you really need to control your follow through, trigger control, all of that stuff is really, really important because there's no weight to speak of to help steady it. It's all on you, the shooter. So if you want something that'll really stretch you to become a better shooter, this gun would probably do it because it is so lightweight, it, it helps you not at all. <laughs> it's very accurate, but you need to shoot it and it, it'll test you. If you make a mistake, you're gonna know it. Um, but it's, I think the payoff of the awesomeness of what you see here is far worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down now and get my chronograph. And we're going to start off with the Mark II Heavies, which are 34 grains. So let me get the chronograph, get that set up, and we'll start doing some shooting. Be right back. All right. All right, let's see how we do here. Oh, so smooth. All right, so we are gonna shoot, I guess, center target. Green light, let's see if we, let's see what we do here. 
837. Man, this thing makes you pay for it. You gotta hold still. 14 shots so that's 14 shots obviously this is a regulated gun 10 uh, feet per second spread with only a standard deviation of 2.4 okay that is impressive energy we are looking at mid 50s 52.6 well low 50s 52 and some change foot pounds pretty much through that entire shot string um, that to me is great now as I said earlier you know Gosh, you know, any little movement, the thing is it's so light. The gun is so unbelievably light, but the trigger pull is great. The action is great. It takes practice to get really good with this gun, but what a gun to try and get good with, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to switch out here to, um, and I may only shoot a few. I don't want to have to go fill this. Let me see what we're doing. All right, so we're at 200 bar now. Uh, I filled this to 300 bar and I did my sight in and then now we're shooting so I don't want to go too too far off I don't want to fall off the reg so we'll shoot seven shots here with the regular 25 fours or the regular 25 grain JSBs JSB Kings and then we'll try the Grizzlies but we'll just shoot seven shots which is half a mag three. Three. I really love their magazines too. Just everything about this gun is, I really like it. Did I go in? Yeah, do it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot to the left of the bowl, the main bowl. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't know where this is going to land, so. We'll just, I'm just going to hold dead center. We'll see where it groups, and then we'll go from there. Nine hundred thirty-two. Okay. Pretty close. Nine hundred sixteen. Nine hundred twelve. Nine hundred. Twenty one. Nine hundred twenty one. That was me. Nine hundred twenty one. Nine hundred twenty one. All right, so. I mean, that is pretty doggone consistent, man. Holy mackerel. Um, low 900s, very, very accurate. Now, I'm going to try the Grizzlies. Let's see if these work. Seven shots again, just for testing and giggles. One of the things when it comes to, you know, testing slugs in this, I'll be curious because the magazine's relatively narrow, so I'm not sure what we'll be able to find 
for slugs. These are these are pretty short. So these are, these are going to run. But I'm curious to what else might be out there that will work because the magazine's relatively short here. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that if you want to run the heavies, the Mark II heavies, or the 25 fours, uh, 50 yards, not a problem at all. Now we're going to try the Grizzlies. I'll tell you that they loaded very gently, so there was I didn't have to push hard at all. They just went in, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let's find out. So these are the same weight, essentially, as the, the Mark IIs. These are... 31 grains, so actually they're a little lighter. Okay, so right in between the two. Let's just see. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Let's shoot the right bull. Eight hundred twenty three. Eight hundred twenty six. Definitely landing low. 823 826 Yep, they're 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 flying a little bit. 821 821 817 Okay, so we know those are not going to be <laughs> slugs that we use. Let's see how much air we got left. Um, I'm right above 150 bar. I don't know what the reg set to on this, and I sort of want to shoot another group of the heavies, because I don't do very good with the heavies, and I want to try again. So we're going to try it. We're going to do it. If I fall off the reg, I fall off the reg. I don't know if I will or not. Maybe we'll do seven shots. I will keep, we'll like be conservative and just do seven shots instead of 14. Six. All right, we'll do seven shots. I convinced myself. All right. And we will go for, I think we'll go um, bottom target, bottom bull. I'm going to try really hard now. I'm going to try really hard to hold really still. Shake it, Eight hundred thirty-three. That last stinking shot, man. All right. So you guys can see, very awesome air gun. Um, I am thrilled that this is part of my per my personal permanent collection. Um, again, thank you, Utah Air Guns. This thing is amazing. Um, I'm excited to spend some more time with this this year. I've got a, a stack of pellets, a stack of slugs, I should say, that I'm going to be testing. Hopefully, this thing will push them. I'd love to have this as like a 150, 200 yard um, prey dog gun. That would be like, I don't know, that would be it for me. If I could do that with this, I would be tickled. So we'll see how that works out this year. Guys, that's going to be it. Um, another video here for Aragon Week. I hope you guys are having a good time watching all these videos. And if you like you know, what you see here, check out the video description. I'll have links to all the stuff there. Guys, it's going to do it. My name is Rick Utzer here with Aragon Web. Thanks for watching.